Meantime, we're getting more insight on the inner workings of prisons. My colleague Kendra Eaglin speaking with a local man who worked at the Chautauqua County Correctional Facility. Kendra. Yeah, Jeff, Patrick Johnson served as warden the last eight of his 30 years at the jail. He retired in 2013. There have been there was even an inmate escape under his watch, but that prisoner was captured in less than 15 minutes. Johnson now teaches criminal justice at SUNY Fredonia. He says the manner in which Richard Matt and David Sweat escaped from the Clinton Correctional Facility is common. Inmates unable to penetrate 40 foot cement walls routinely find find ways to escape underneath prison grounds. And while Johnson believes the convicts perks for good behavior may have helped them escape, he doesn't want that to compromise the honor block program. If they're not given anything to do, if they're not given any rewards, then they're pretty much going to act out against staff and against other inmates. And when inmates are uh, combative, and when they're assaulted towards other people, then you have a problem with security and safety inside your facilities. Well, Johnson says U.S. prisons should spend more money on mental health and education. Right now, the U.S. spends 10% on rehabilitation programs compared to 40% in Europe, where ex-cons have lower re-entry rates. Johnson says since New York doesn't have the death penalty, the convicts will likely be punished by being put in solitary confinement if they're ever captured. Kendra Eaglin, 7 Eyewitness News.